job. Today I'm going to give a quick review of one of our newest tools added to our arsenal. It's the rigid orbiting sander. It comes in this nice little soft sided case. Personally, I don't like these. I like the hard, the hard cases much better. It does a better job of protecting your tools. But this is, you know, it is a good little carrying case if you have to take it out of the shop. I don't ever see a point to it, so it's probably going to go away for an indeterminate amount of time. I've already, op you know, I already opened it and took a look at it because it was pretty and I liked it and I like it. Um, it's very small. It's got good grip. It has a nice little air guard here. Yeah, it also hooks up to a inch, you can an inch and a quarter uh, air hose, like a vacuum hose. So if you don't want to use these, use this thing. You don't have to. I like you because the hose just gets in the way for me. Simple on-off buttons right here, easily accessible. And it's a random orbiting sander, so you have your regular block sanders. They do okay, but these I feel do a much better job uh, taking taking away material that you want and nothing that you don't. Comes the uh, it's not a adhesive pad. It is a Velcro uh, hooking hook and loop style. Getting these here right it can be kind of a pain, but it's better than an adhesive back disc. Much better in my opinion. Because you're just going to knock off the adhesives. You want to get the holes lined up just perfectly, just right, so then the airflow is good for clearing off the pad. And there you go. It's on there. It's not going anywhere. It's on there nice and tight, so you don't have to worry about it. It comes with a few uh, 80 grit sanding discs and all your magical information here. I'm, I love Rigid. I think it's a great, great company. I like their tools. Now the question is, does it work well? Taking off the paint, taking off paint, taking off the stuff you want to take off. Well, only one way to find out. Fits really well in the hand, it's really easy to control. I'm only using 80 grit. I thought I got to go with an average grit that most people have instead of something a lot more coarse or a lot more fine for this. But it does do a very good job. It's, it is very smooth, very nice. And pad stayed majority clean. I can still use this even after all this for something else. Speed adjuster right here. I don't normally mess around with that. I keep it at max just to get, get the sending done quick. If I'm doing something for finish work like uh, stain or poly, I do tamper with it a little bit just to get a really nice finish. All in all, this is a great little unit. You can pick it up at you know your local big box store for relatively cheap. So yeah, if you if you do a lot of woodwork, you do a lot of finishing, I was highly just picking up one of these. That being said, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.